Um, they're multiplying and following me home. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Um, if anybody has a, an extra space to sleep for a few nights, uh, <laughs> drop a comment down below. Uh, I don't think I don't think I need to go. <laughs> uh oh. All right, here's the newest addition to the fleet. Um, it was for sale locally and I really couldn't pass it up. It's a 1977 standard uh, Volkswagen Beetle, fuel injected model last year of the standards. It's in pretty decent shape. It's got a little bit of floor rot, I'll show you. Uh, windshield's cracked, uh, eh, some surface rust here and there. Um, it is a sunroof bug, so I'd like to get that fixed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. The interior is a lot, uh, pretty much taken apart. Uh, it has Flintstone method of propulsion there. Uh, looks like it's going to need pan halves for the front, uh, both sides. The heater channels, uh, you can see have some rust through, uh, at least from the outside. So I'm going to see if I can't get, see if I can't patch that. This one, this one I might have to do because I've, I've got a hole over here, another hole over here. So this, uh, the passenger side heater channel may have to be done. The driver's side heater channel does not look all that bad, uh, but the rest of the interior is taken apart. The driver's side window regulator is stuck down, but all the parts are there, with the exception of maybe the dash cover. Come back here, and we have an unmolested fuel-injected motor. 1.6, all the parts are there. It looks like maybe one hose is broken, um, but that's not too bad. I haven't put a key to it, but it turns over freely. Um, check the oil, and it does not appear to have any water in the oil. Everything appears to be in shape back there in the motor. Like I said, move around to this side. The running boards, they always rust out, but they're rusted. Um, heck, it, he put brand new tires on it, so it was worth the price of the car just for the tires. Move around to the front, and we have... Everything's there. It might be a little taken apart, so the heater system is taken apart a little bit. We have the factory spare, um, OEM, factory Michelin spare with all the parts for the washer fluid reservoir. I looked underneath and there's a small, uh, probably about a, a dime size. Oh, there goes one of the kids are heading out. Uh, small dime size hole underneath the spare, but that can be easily patched up. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, it's gonna go into storage for a little bit while I focus on the dune buggy that's hanging out in the garage, working, you've seen some of my other videos, it's moving through. But uh, I couldn't pass up the deal on this one. Walked away with a clean car on this one, really good price. Uh, something that I really couldn't pass up. Heck, I could flip it over on Facebook Marketplace today and make my money back. Plus, um, it has what looks like 26,000 miles on it. And I looked at the title, and the title is marked as it says, let's see, 280. 4,681 is what the title says, and it's marked actual mileage. 264,861. Anybody see any similarities there? 26,486 and a tenth. I'm going to have to talk to the DMV. I'm going to take some pictures, take some evidence. But they're showing this as an actual mileage car. And if that odometer is working the way it's supposed to be working, this might be a 24,000 mile car. It just didn't see all the love that it needs to see. And Fred Flintstone visited it. But other than that, we might have a low mileage 77 standard here that uh, might be set up for some fun. We'll see what it's gonna be in some future videos but uh, just stay tuned. Let me know if you have any thoughts, any questions, uh, any recommendations for it. Um, and if you want to buy it, let me know. Just drop me a comment. Uh, everything's always for sale. Hello, that's that's what I, what I always tell my wife, is everything always is always for sale. Um, if you're interested, shoot me a price. And if you're in the Maryland area, maybe we can work something out. All right? Thanks, guys. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.